need your help. James Cameron's Avatar definitely brought 3D back into the public eye. But audience members still had to wear those special glasses, which movie viewers have been wearing for many years. 3D home TVs are becoming more popular too, but again, there's those glasses. One of the few companies globally with its sights directly on the 3D experience without glasses is Israeli startup 3D TV, located in Renana, north of Tel Aviv. The idea is having screen without glasses because you cannot give glasses to everyone that walks by. 3D TV customizes a commercial LCD TV by adding their own layer of optics on top of the screen, which directs the pixels in nine different directions. It is like we are putting nine cameras and shooting from each one of them, and from each of the cameras we are transmitting to different eyes. So whenever you stand, there is an image pointed to one of your eyes, right or left. Then your brain creates the 3D image. Of course what we see in 3D, on TVs or in the movies, has to be created that way. And so this Israeli company also creates its own high quality content. In 3D if you don't see a good image, you are losing the image and you start get dizzy. Animators use series of computers, or render farms, to create 30 second commercials that may take more than a month of programming and render time to finish. Three areas of movement have to be programmed. We have the out of screen object that you see them flying in the air. We have objects that are on the screen, like 2D image, and we have objects that, that are in depth. When we create what we call the storyboard, we said, all right, this rocket will fly from within the screen, to out of screen. Their software can also convert previously made video into 3D content that can be viewed without glasses. We can take, for example, a movie that was made for glasses, like Avatar, and we can take these two sources and convert them to our technology. We can take a 2D movie and then convert it to our technology. Most of 3D TV's content so far has been commercials shown in business centers, airports, and exhibitions. This media is very good for exhibition because when you go and everyone shows screen and everyone shows movie and you want to pop out, out of everyone, you show 3D and then you see people standing around your screen. We call it the wow effect. Their commercials have been installed recently in the Moscow airport and at Expo 2010 in Shanghai, where 3D TV was invited by the Israeli government to set up a monitor in the Israel pavilion. The files they create are huge, too big at this time for TV networks to transmit or to be put on DVDs. A DVD that has 4.7 gigabyte will be able to show only 10 seconds of in this technology. With all the obstacles, Ohayon still imagines a time soon when 3D TVs will be everywhere, and he plans for his company to be there. The application of 3D is very vast. You can have it almost in anywhere, in medicine and in architecture. We see the world in 3D. And if we reach finally to some technology that, that allow us to see artificial 3D in our screen, so everything that you see, you would like to see in 3D. Jake, it's crazy here. Quaritch is rolling and there's no stopping him. We're going up. Find out about other exciting stories at Israel21C.org.